Do you know who this guy is? What is a womanizer? I love women. Yeah. You know what? And I'm. This is the first time I ever talked about this on camera. I can't control myself. M most men can't. Right. I'm. I'm a good-looking man. I'm not short. I have my life together. I get money. Even if, like, let me be honest with you, like, even if I'm married, women don't care. And it's not regular women. Extremely gorgeous women are hit on me. I can't control myself. I can't. I'm either going to look at a picture, answer a DM, comment. I can't help myself. I'm a pervert in a sense of if it's a good-looking girl, she hits on me, I'm going to flirt back. There's nothing I can do about that. Every time? Every single time. I don't. Ladies, you know who this is? How about this guy? What's good, bozos? It's past the poppy Don. Yeah, and I found his criminal history and all of that. Y'all have mentioned this guy, Pastor Poppy Don, in my chat a couple of times. I didn't know who the hell this was until I looked up what the hell this dude be saying. This dude is crazy. He panders to women, but he also been convicted of beating his girlfriend. And women overlooked it. He is an admitted womanizer. Went into the comment section. You know what I saw? Well, as long as he's honest and he's telling us the truth, then we don't have a reason to be shaming him. Because it don't matter if you're a panderer. And I want you guys to understand that it don't it don't matter. This, I was going to say nig. <laughs> I mean, this dude panders, beats his girlfriend, and black women overlook all that because his words make them feel good. Hell, Derek Jackson bought a mansion in Atlanta in a downtown high rise just to cheat on his wife in peace. And he was able to purchase those assets off the backs of black women's money. And y'all think I'm lying. <laughs> Let me show you something real quick. Pay attention. This is his wife, by the way. This is Danica Jackson. Came on the Dear Future Wifey podcast to explain her side. Black women, pay attention. Listen to what y'all bought Derek Jackson. He just I, came home one day, he was gone. Well, he was at the condo. He decided he was going to go to the condo because we had a big falling out. So it was a condo in the same city? Yeah, it's in Atlanta. It was in downtown, mid, Midtown. So you had a condo in the house? We had an, a 9,000 square foot mansion. Oh, 9,000 foot mansion, square foot mansion. Jesus. In the same neighborhood that um, the Migos, one of the Migos people, I don't even know their name, so I, so, but one of them lived like not far. So why do you think you need a condo for? He needed a condo so he could record. I was told he, the condo was supposed to be for business, for a recording, to get this look, for the webinars and all that. That was what that was for, but little did I know we Shoot. was out here living our best lives. <laughs> Whole full-blown relationships. Whole full-blown relationships in this damn condo that this dude had in downtown midtown atlanta and he did that from black women may uh buying his books <laughs> pat yourselves on the back <laughs> let's continue listen to what she has to say i'm painting a picture here yeah so he had the condo to it's supposed to be for business but he spent more nights there than he did um at home <laughs> <laughs> That's what y'all did for Derek Jackson. And the, the brother, he's still going strong over there. And I say all that to say this. Start pandering. <laughs> if you're a soft guy, Eric guy, and you want some funds to fund your soft guy lifestyle, start pandering. That way you can get your money up, bask in your masculinity, and live a soft guy life. But, but I want to be clear. Just let us know what you're doing beforehand so us content creators won't interrupt your hustle. If black women are too clueless to understand what's happening, then you might as well make them pay indirectly for your drizzle drizzle, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, pander, get paid. Because they ain't gonna figure it out, even though we've been telling to tell them for a while now, right? Derek Jackson out here running rampant, still create videos. So make sure y'all consider pandering. I see Skinny Boy thinking about it. He's like, you know what? Maybe I should start pandering because it's a lot of money in there. You could become a millionaire. Well, uh, 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 you can make enough money to buy 
a downtown condo in Atlanta and also a 9,000 square foot mansion as well. <laughs> so consider, you know, consider pandering and get that money. Black women say that they, you know, the most paid, you know, all these $100,000 earners, get some of that money <laughs> and live a soft life. <laughs> Lost in Translation podcast said, I'm selling books with no words. Yeah, man, just put a bunch of pictures. Or uh, what is that girl, um, uh, B. Simone do? She just like put like line paper in her book and was telling women like to write down their manifestations in the book. <laughs> you can write that. Just put the put on the first page, Queen. You are valuable. Nobody can stand next to you. You are the best thing ever. Write down how many ways that you think you're a queen. <laughs> Get you that money, man. Go ahead and cook. Soft, soft, soft guy life, right? <laughs> well, Quill said, Cam, I might have to think, hey, man, I'm just putting a bug in here, but just go ahead and shoot me an email. Be like, hey, medium man, I'm about to get on this pandering grind. So if you see me say something crazy, just know I'm getting to this money. What what kids say? Get to the bag. Right. So, yeah, you get to the bag and I see you on there. Hey, queen, these black men are trash. They don't do anything. You make more money than them. You have more education. You 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 do everything better than the black men. And I can see the money come rolling in. That brother's subscribers going to go from zero to 100,000 real quick. So <laughs> Darshan M, a.k.a. D Mac said, I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know I'm about to grab that bag too. Just give you a heads up. Hey, I got it, brother. You you already let us know in the chat. We understand it. <laughs> Big Blaze Entertainment said, Mother Godness, I, re I renounced my black pill and I'm done with the manosphere. Yeah. <laughs> hey, make sure you got the cadence of Dr. Umar too. My sisters, you know, that, that type of stuff. Get you some kente cloth. <laughs> And repeat yourself a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> so so the, the juju could sink in. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and, and yeah, so yeah, y'all give us some advice on how to pander, uh how to how to pander in a better way. Get you some moon crystals. Yeah, make sure you guys up your knowledge on the crystals and also on the horoscopes and foolery like that. Sun, moon, quasars. Shout out to boys in the hood. Sun, moon, stars, quasars. Uh, <laughs> get all your, you know, your information up. Learn about what, uh, what, what signs are most compatible, so you can change your sign depending on the woman that you're talking to. So if she's an Aries and Aries are compatible with Cancers, then you make sure that you're a Cancer for that day. And then when you talk to an asparagus. <laughs> When you talk to a Gemini or something, then you can change it to Aries. Yeah, because Geminis and Aries, we work well together, girl. Oh, what about Capricorns? Yeah, I'm a Capricorn. What are you? You know, you just keep going. Make sure that you do these things right, brother. I'm trying to get y'all paid. I'm trying to get you paid. Money, money, money. <laughs>